In the wake of the Queen's death, it seems that Hollywood is turning against Netflix as the crown and the way it portrays the royal family. Debates have arose and lines have been blurred between reality and how that reality is acted out on screen. Judi Dench and the crown's very own Helena Bonham Carter are amongst the many that believe Netflix should be clearer around the events shown in the crown and that they're fiction, not fact. I'm Matt Rogers and join me today as we take a look at the controversy surrounding the hit Netflix original. Now I'm bringing all the latest news and updates for The Crown and delivering it straight to your subscription feed. So to stay up to date and support the channel, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe and ring that bell to not miss a single thing. The Crown has notoriously never used disclaimers despite its obvious grounding in true events. I conducted a poll on my channel asking if you think Netflix should add a disclaimer, and with over 400 votes, 53% of you said yes, but that's a pretty close survey and goes to show how controversial the topic is. Though there are some celebrities that agree and don't appreciate Netflix's handling of the subject matter. Oscar-winning actress Dame Judi Dench has called The Crown crude and cruel. In a letter to The Times, Dench wrote, quote, No one is a greater believer in artistic freedom than I. But this cannot go unchallenged. Despite this week stating publicly that The Crown has always been a fictionalised drama, the program makers have resisted all calls for them to carry a disclaimer at the start of each episode, end quote. On a quick side note, John Major, former Prime Minister of Britain, called the series a barrel load of nonsense. This quote was said on the basis that season 5 is reported to contain a scene where the Prince of Wales propositions Major to get Charles's mother, the Queen, to abdicate, an event Major has said is complete fiction. Dench echoed Major's point, saying Major is not alone in his concerns and that the later series of The Crown will present an inaccurate and hurtful account of history. Dench was also unimpressed with the reports that season 5 would suggest the Queen's parenting was so deficient that she might have deserved a jail sentence, saying this is both cruelly unjust to the individuals and damaging to the institution they represent. Dench has her reasons for her opinions as she's not only played royalty in film, but off-screen was appointed an Officer of the Order of the British Empire in 1970, made a dame in 1988, and appointed a Companion of Honour by Queen Elizabeth II in 2005. But on a more personal level, Dench is known to be a friend to Queen Consort Camilla, visiting the Isle of Wight with her a few years back in 2018. But celebrities wanting a disclaimer include the Crown's on-screen royal family too. Helena Bonham Carter, who played Princess Margaret in seasons 3 and 4, said in a 2020 interview, quote, There is a distinction between our version and the real version of royal history. It is dramatised and I do feel very strongly because I think we have a moral responsibility to say, hang on guys, this is not a drama doc, we're making a drama, so they are two different entities, end quote. My personal opinion is that viewers of the show should exercise at least a small amount of critical thinking. It seems rather obvious that we wouldn't know what would be discussed behind closed doors at the royal breakfast table or in private audiences that are out of the public eye. But I suppose some viewers that aren't familiar with the events surrounding the royal family could take what they see in the show as fact. For that reason, I see no harm in adding a disclaimer and I feel like doing so won't really take away any of the impact that the show has. In December 2020, politician Oliver Dowden also requested a disclaimer and Netflix actually responded, saying that they had no plans on doing so. But all this fuss, whether you feel it is valid or not, appears to have worked, at least in part, as after posting the season 5 trailer, Netflix has since added this to the start of the video description, saying, Inspired by real events, this fictional dramatisation tells the story of Queen Elizabeth II and the political and personal events that shaped her reign. It is unknown though if this disclaimer will make its way into the actual show itself though. I guess time will tell. Creator Peter Morgan has always called the series a love letter to Queen Elizabeth II, and season 6 briefly sees production in September out of respect for the Queen's death. A spokesperson for The Crown has said, quote, The Crown has always been presented as a drama based on historical events. Series 5 is a fictional dramatisation imagining what could have happened behind closed doors during a significant decade for the royal family. One that has already been scrutinised and well documented by journalists, biographers and historians. End quote. 
But who is in the right here? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. But if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe for weekly videos covering your favourite movies and TV shows. If you subscribe during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.